Chit Chat. Welcome back to Eco Chit Chat. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, best friends. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. So, we're back today again with the next Eco Chit Chat. And today, we are going to have a story time. This story time is about the time I went on the worst freaking hike of my life. Yes. Worst freaking hike of my life. When I tell you it was bad, it was bad, it was bad. But I still went. So, have you ever heard of Pichon Cove? No. And for me neither. But that's where I decided to go and hike. And that should have been the first warning sign. But I didn't take on any opportunity to splash up in some water. And I did. I fret. So, yeah. I messaged two of my friends. I said, hey guys, you want to go on a hike? We hike into Pichon Cove. Come on, go. They say, yeah, let we were going over time to look at pictures they say oh pichon cove look nice that was a beach um along the north coast right so maracas beach along the north coast las cuevas and have a lot of other hidden beaches that are really nice so we decided well let's go right so let's go the day came for this hike now first of all i woke up late and next morning sign because I never wake up late for hikes, right? But I woke up late, so it was peace. It was peace, right? So we're driving along the North Coast Road. Lo and behold, the maxi stops. The maxi stops in the middle of nowhere. Literally, it felt as though the maxi shut down or whatnot. So everybody confused. Like we reach, we could never reach because you look left, you look right, and all you see is bush. So we could have never reached, right? Maxi stop and whatnot. So we try to figure out, oh lord, the maxi shut down. What's this? It's gonna be a whole scene. No, maxi didn't shut down. Maxi stopped for us to come out. Because the hike leader came out, the maxi, and we were just like, okay, this can't be the trail though, because we're not seeing a trail. All we see is dense forest. So where are we going? Right? Anyway, so everybody come out the maxi and we standing up on the side of the road looking like a lost group of people. And the tour guide is like talking to this man on the side of the road and the man is like, you know, I don't really let people pass on this trail, blah, 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 blah. No, I want to know if this is a man property, but any, anywho, we're not getting into that, right? But it's a small group and I don't want it to all to pollute the trail and this, that and the other. And we're like, no, we're an environmental group. The most we do is clean up the trail. We're not going to pollute it. We're not going to leave it dirty, whatever. So after he gave us this long speech and this long warning, the hike leader takes out his cutlass and he starts to cut some bush. So we were just like, oh, we're going there? There where he cut it? There we're looking like forest? They were looking like a snake or something could just take me and nobody would hear, nobody would know. Okay, cool. No scene. No scene. Time to start this hike. Lo and behold, as everybody starts to walk, you just hear a scream. When Khadija followed the scream, what is she to see? A spider, a big, stinking spider. And who is afraid of spiders? Me. I am horrified of spiders you know the little daddy long legs and whatnot mm -mm, mm -mm. can't see that i afraid i real afraid spiders so i thinking to myself what oh, was this one how i gonna make this hike how i gonna do this thing this is not for me it's time for me to go back home that spider was clearly there to warn everybody not to go on this trail but no we stupid we don't want to take on this spider who is he he don't know nothing we 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 beg we humans we know better so we will go on the hike mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i couldn't pass though so i didn't know who was this we was going on this hike because i couldn't pass there i just stand up there watching this spider this spider watching me i tried to go back home the hike wasn't gonna happen and my friends was like come on we already reached you have to pass you have to pass i was like guys i cannot pass i don't think you'll understand i afraid spiders i cannot pass and this was an enormous was no the spider was huge i ready to cry i was ready to cry right so whatever so my friend she's holding my hand i was like Paige, i'm gonna close my eyes and you're gonna have to tell me when to walk and when we pass the spider so i'm walking and i'm holding on to this girl like dead grip holding on to her and i'm just like did you pass the spider yet did you pass the spider yet she's like we nearly passed we nearly passed it and Khadija opened her eye well boy i cut off circulation and that girl i'm so fast i closed my eye and i was just like i can't i can't i can't 
see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. So, it was horrifying. So he passed his spider and whatnot. But first, you know, first thing done. So I think it was nice, smooth sailing, smooth sailing, and the rest of it is like, mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. So he walking downhill, walking, 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 trying to enjoy the bush, trying to enjoy the scenery, and not really enjoying the bush because I'm not really a fan of the bush. Don't mind I'm an, envir an environmentalist, don't mind I like the hike and whatnot. But I don't really like the hiking, or I like the water, I like the destination. The hiking process, mm, little iffy. But, anywho, so we walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in, walk in. I hear a scream. I say, Lord, what is this one now? What is this? What is this? I look down. What am I to see? Bachaks. A whole set of bachaks covering the freaking trail. If you see, I never see so much bachak in my life. Them bachaks and them was having the time of their life. It was a fete. It was a party. It was a celebration. It was a big bram. If you see freaking bachak. If you see bachak. So I think to myself, well, these bachaks are going to pass. What's this? It's like a two minute rest. It's going to take place here. No, 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 no. No. The bachaks was just there. We had to pass through the bachaks. Now, when our ants bite me, that is big enough for me to, for me to finish. I done. Declare me dead. I done. Right? One ant. Now imagine I see a bachak. Who's this? Who's this one? Who's supposed to pass through that? Who? Who? Anywho, we, I had to pass because I wasn't staying in the bush there by myself and everybody else was going, right? So I had to pass, right? So I decided, you know what? Knees to chest and you're going to bolt down the street. That is all you had to do. Knees to chest and bolt. I am running like if a pit bull is chasing behind me. Mind you, I'm running downhill. Eh? And of course, I'm running so fast that I am to fall in this group of bachelors. Well, I bounce up so fast. Remember, Raven? No, Raven used to bounce up. I bounce up faster than that. As I went down, I come back up instantly. And I continue running and I reach the end. And we had to jump down. Man, I just jump. I jump and I land flat on my butt. I couldn't care. I didn't feel nothing. As long as I pass the bachelors and then I was good. Pass the bachelors, reach the water, ready to splash. The water rough. The water is the roughest thing of life. The water just train your hand, train your hand, train your hand. And it's not like when you're maracas, when the water train you up and down and you could enjoy yourself. No, because you're not falling on no soft sand. You're, fall, you're falling on some sharp, sharp, sharp pebbles and rocks. You're grazing up yourself for a kind of drama. So we couldn't even enjoy the water after all that. But whatever, we still try. And you know, we had a cute little photo shoot, of course, near nature, water, whatnot. Yeah, had a little cute. So we had a nice cute little photo shoot and whatnot. And after the, the photo shoot, we went to sit down to eat. I am sitting down eating. And I'm feeling eyes. You know when you're feeling somebody watch you? Yeah, I'm feeling eyes. So I just turn my head. Of course, our next freaking spider is watching me while I eat. It had nowhere for me to run, nowhere for me to go. So the spider watching me, I watching him. Stay in competition. Who win? The freaking spider because I wasn't going to stare at him for so long. No, he was not cute. He was not cute. So, after all of this now, time to head back. So we studying. Well, okay, maybe we can signal a boat. Because who going to walk back up? Who? Not us again, right? No, never. So we try to figure out if we can signal a boat. Of course we can't signal a freaking boat, right? So we have to walk back up. Walking back up now, mind you, we had to walk downhill to get to Pichon Cove. So now we have to walk uphill. And it wasn't a uphill or a uphill. It was a uphill. Straight uphill, right? So pressure, pressure. I could have cried. My legs was ready to give way, right? So again, we reach back by the bachelors. Mind you, the chili, they're busy telling us, oh, the bachelors and them not gonna last long. The bachelors and them will go back and sleep or wherever, wherever. No, them bachelors was out to have the time. Them bachelors was still there hours later. They were still partying. They were still getting down. So we had to pass back to them bachelors again. Now remember when I was going down, I ran down and I had to jump, right? No, no, this time you had to climb. And mind you, the tree leader gone. He leave everybody. He went first and he bust it. Now I stand up there and I'm like, no, sir. I, I cannot. You need to come back down here. 
So I everybody down there started to shout out for him. He come back. <laughs> what happened? What you think happened? What you really think happened? How the hell are we supposed to climb up this? My legs look long? I look flexible? No. Shucks. Anyways. So now he's standing up there in the backtrack and he had to help me. Right? And I panicking. And I'm moving now. He getting bite. No, mind you, I may have stuck a little bit so that he could get one or two bites just because he leave us. He deserved them bite, right? Anyways, so time to go up there now. I, I panicking. I real panicking. Because all I studied is I had to run uphill now through this backtrack. My legs done killing me, but I had a bolt. It's an uphill run, you know, it's an uphill run. So whatever. He helped me up and whatnot, and then toes. No, 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 I never run so fast in my life. I didn't even know I could have run like that uphill. I can't even run like that flat. I didn't know I could have run like that uphill. Right? So, I make the run. Now, we walk in, we walk in, we walk in, we walk in. And it's just like, at some point in time, my lungs, my lungs start to hurt. My throat start to hurt. I can't breathe. I can't, no oxygen was coming in. I was like, what is this? Was this it? I'm going to die here today? No, that's not right. I didn't even enjoy the water much. I'm a dying the water instead though. I don't want to die on the trail. I don't want to die in the bush. That's not that's not how I'm meant to go. Right? But I really and truly could not be. And normally it's my ankles who give me trouble and whatnot. But for some reason oxygen just wasn't passing. Nothing was happening. I just couldn't breathe and everything was hitting me. I said, But what's this? What's this? So I walk for two seconds, stop for two seconds. And it was me and my friend Sinead, we in the back struggling. But we didn't care. We know that we wasn't no hike bantam. We know that we wasn't no fitness guru or nothing. So we were just chilling. We was going at our pace. Even though everybody has gone. Our friend Paige, she leave us on gone. Typical, but whatever. So finally we reached back on the road again. Cars just passing and watching us like what well, these group of people do is standing up here and looking real weird and of course we were looking weird because like I said it was just bush around us left right and center was just bush there was no sign of a trail no sign of a possible hike that could take place where we went you know so of course we were looking weird but whatever time to go home now my father is to come for me mind you I am living five minutes from the entrance to the north coast road in Santa Cruz where, where was my father? I call him. He, yeah, I leave home. I'm coming for you now. I right around the corner. Right around the corner. Wait. 20 something minutes later is when he reached for me. I just like, how? Oh, how me standing up on the side of the road? Like, I wasn't even looking like a prostitute. I was just looking homeless and beaten up. Right? And wet and soggy and stink. Right? I shame now. I stand up and he said, oh, look at her. Look at her. She had no owner. She had no home. She never know where. She, she ain't worth nothing. Right? But whatever, so he finally reached, reach home, make sure my friends reach home. I message, you know, all the reach home safe. Yes, they reach home safe. Nice, the next day, my legs were not mine. I attempted to come off the bed and I fell flat on my butt. Once again, I just fell. My legs just gave it. Oh, it was not mine. It just wasn't mine. Stranger. No. It was like leg day. In, in, you know when you're going gym and you're gymming hard and stuff and you have leg day, the day after leg day, the pressure you just feel in your legs, where you just can't even sit down, where to sit down and you tell that the feet is be a whole scene. Yeah, that was me. I couldn't sit down, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't do nothing. And I had to go to church and function normal. I was in real pain. But, yeah boy, that hike. I probably, not even making this hike song bad, they probably, or they probably hear the song and be like, Hey, but it was some decent. No, it was not decent. Nope, nope, nope. Just take my word for it. The hike was disastrous. Pigeon Cove, who? Pigeon Cove, where? Never me again. Now, mind you, it could have been a nice experience, but it wasn't. Never me again. Never me again. And Pigeon Cove, I went once and that is it. I don't need to go again. So, that was the time. I dragged two of my friends to go on the worst hike of our lives. So, yeah, that's it for Eco Chit Chat today. See you next time. Thanks for listening to me vent about that hike. And, yeah, bye. Eco Chit Chat. Eco Chit Chat.